<laughs> What's up guys, Gator with Self.dev. In this video, we are gonna go over how to use the data we got back from our API request in the previous video. If you haven't seen that one yet, look in the corner or in the description and I'll have a link for that video so you can go watch it and get caught up to where we're at now. It is um, how to request data from an API using JavaScript with fetch or something like that. But let's jump into the code and explain what we're gonna do in this one. Now we've made some modifications from our previous video. So if you need to just pause the video and copy this so your code looks the same. And then the same for the HTML, we have removed the inputs and the button because we don't need to make multiple requests. We're gonna make an initial request and just generate user cards based off that. Basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna make something like a company directory. So we'll get 10 results back from the API and then we will pull out the image, the name, the phone number, and the email address and have little cards for each employee. We're not gonna add the CSS in this video so it's going to look pretty ugly, but we'll get the JavaScript part down. So hopefully you paused it and got your HTML and JavaScript looking like mine if you need to. Now let's get going. So right now we get back 10 users from random user API and then we console log that data. So if we go over here and just inspect this and look in the console, as you can see, we get an object with results and then we have 10 users here. And then we need to pull out parts of this data. So what are we going to need? We're going to need their name. Uh, we're going to need their picture. We're going to need the uh, the email. And then we're going to need the phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and do a screen grab on that. Um, as you can see, I previously tried to do this video. I just messed up near the end, so I have to re-record it now. But we're going to grab this so we have this object easy to look at and easy to navigate through. And then we are going to go back to our code here. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to say... We're gonna replace this console log with another function because after we get the user data back from the API, we want to invoke this next function that will generate the card template and add it to the DOM. So we'll just call this function generate card. Cards, because we're gonna generate all 10 cards in this function with the data. And then we'll create a new function. We'll say const generate cards equals an arrow function. And then in here, we want to start opening up our data and breaking it down. So if we look back here, this object, that is data. Now we need to drill down into data, specifically into results here. So we need to say data.results, and that gets us inside of results here. And then we basically have an array of 10 items. Zero, and then one's down here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way. So that's going to be the same for everything we get out of the object. So let's just go ahead and declare a variable here. We'll say const um, results, or result rather, I guess. And we'll say data.result, S with an S at the end. And then to generate our template, we're just going to use the first, or the first user in the list for this template. So we'll just say zero and then we'll loop over it later and then generate all 10 cards. And we also need to accept an argument here. So that's where we're getting data from. Now to make our HTML, um, we could do it a super slow old way. We could say um, document.create element and then give it an element to create and then mm, like use JavaScript to individually add the attributes, but there's a much faster, better way now. Uh, we can use template literals. Template literals are declared using this the tilde. It's the little like backwards um, apostrophe. It's right below the escape key on your keyboard. And in here, we can say something like, hey, my name is, and then dollar sign and curly braces. And anything you put in here, it's expecting like a variable. So we'll say um, username. And then up here, I'll just uh, declare a new variable called username equals Garrett. And then we want to console log this. Now, if we go back to our page here and just look in the console, it says, hey, my name is Garrett. So it just replaced username with what, it, what username is defined as outside of the scope of this function. Now, we need to do that, but with our data. So we'll get rid of this console. Um, now we want to declare another variable. So we'll say const user card. 
and then we'll make a tilde here. And then inside we can just write just like regular HTML. So we'll say div. And that's gonna be our container for the card. Um, actually, let's go ahead and give that a class card. And then inside here, we're gonna have two more divs. I don't want the dot there. And then we're gonna add another one here. And then we're gonna add this class. Um, it's gonna be left side. And then this one is gonna have a class called right side. And then inside the left one, we're going to, we're just going to have their image. And then in the right, we're going to have their name, their phone number, and their email address. So if we look back here, now, like I said, result right here, we've got data.result, and we're getting the first user. So we're, we've got data, we've got result, and we're getting the first user here. So now to get the picture, we need to look in here. And where is picture? So we've got picture right here. And there's stuff nested inside picture. Now we can get the large image, the medium image, or the thumbnail. The thumbnail is super low resolution or super tiny um, for what we're gonna use. So we'll just go ahead and grab the medium one here. So we first need to make an image tag and we're gonna set the SRC equal to the dollar sign curly braces here. And then we're gonna say result dot, what do we need to get? Result dot picture dot medium. And then we'll also have an alt tag here that we will add something to later for accessibility purpose or accessibility reasons. An image is a self-closing tag, so we can just use that right there. And then we'll save, and then we should have our left side. Now, for the right side, we're gonna add an H2, and we're just gonna copy, actually, it's gonna be different than that. So we'll insert our variable here we're going to say result dot I, th I think it's name dot first is that right so result dot name dot first and then we need the last as well and we're actually going to have since it's like an employee directory we're going to have last name comma first name so we'll add this and then a comma space there and then we'll say last so now this should give us their last name like hughes comma garrett and then below that we want to have their um, their email and their phone number. Now we want to make them links. So like if it's an email, they can just click on the email and whatever device they're using will open up the native email um, app and try to let you send them an email. So we'll say A and we'll make the href equal to mail to and then we want to get their email address. So we'll say result.email. I think it's the first level of the object, right? Um, yes, right there. And then phone number is also the first level, or not the first level of the object. It's like nested in there, but it's the first level of what we need to go down to. Um, so let's go ahead and close our quotes there. And then close this A tag. And then make another A tag. We'll say href tell. And then what do I have? I don't have anything in my clipboard. Result.phone and then close that as well, and then make a closing A tag for that. And then inside, we just wanna copy this variable and stick that inside. So now it will say their phone number and their email inside, and then if they click on it, it's uh, basically a link to email and phone. And I think that is basically our, oh wait, we need to grab the this and stick that there, and we'll just say, whoop. Well, let's make this one first name, last name. And then save that, remove that so that's nice. And we've got our user card. So now we need to add this to the DOM. So how do we do that? Well, we can say document.body.innerHTML plus equals uh, user card. And then if we save, I think we should be good to go. So let's go look over here. And perfect, we've got a user there. It's got their name, it's got their email and their phone number. And if we click on this, it tries to open up Windows Mail over on the left here. Left here. Um, and then if, it, if they do that on their phone, it'll open up whatever their phone's native email client is. Now we need to loop through and make sure we get all 10 users. So to do that, we're going to basically just say data.results.map 
And then in here, it's going to get data. We're going to make that an arrow function. We're going to grab that and then just stick everything we wrote inside of that map. So what map is going to do? First, we're digging into data. So we're getting the object. Then we're going into results, which is this array of 10 people, because that's what map needs to be used on. It needs an array to be... Um, map is a method you call on an array. So we have to get to that array. And then map is going to basically just run through everybody in there and then apply this code to it. We don't need result here anymore because if we use result still, we're just going to use the first user every time. We don't want to do that. We want to use different users every time. And then instead of result, we're just going to replace that with data. So data is basically going to be what we had here. It's just going to increment this every time. Result, 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 result. You can just use Control F and like search and replace, but there's only like eight instances of it, instances of that. So I feel like it would take about the same time. And now, so we're getting data. We're digging into the array of ten people, which is results, and we're looping through that array. And for each person in that array, we're going to generate a user card with their data in it, and then we are going to append that to the DOM. So if we save and go back here, now we have all ten people. And no errors in our console, so nice. Let's go ahead and close the console because we're not going to need that anymore. But that is almost it for this video. Um, the next one we're going to apply CSS, but now you know how to use the data you get back from an API. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If this helps you out, give me a thumbs up. I keep looking at the wrong camera because I've got a webcam here and then my camera's like right here. Um, but yeah, if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff so I know that I'm doing stuff that helps you guys out. Uh, if you have video, video suggestions or any questions, anything like that, leave those down in the comments below. If you want to get my resume template, the one I had before I had any technical experience when I was applying for my first dev job, look in the description. I'll have a link to that as well along with a link to my site, selftaught-dev.com. Uh, that's got a bunch of practice projects on it I've created for you guys to practice, and then also links to my HTML and CSS tutorials. And I am going to start doing resume reviews again, so if you want to send me my, uh, your resume, I think my email is in the description as well. Um, send me your resume, and I will give you some feedback on it. It is going to be in a video, though, so be okay with that. I'm just going to... I'm going to like black out your name or like redact. It's going to be like black boxes. I'm going to redact your name, um, part of your, yeah, you're, I'm going to redact your phone number, um, your email, any like personal identifiable email in there or uh, information in there. I'm going to redact. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Round one.